Hello all, it's James Johnson, a.k.a. Sulphur Blade, and I'm back here with some breaking news. In my last political-related video that wasn't me playing Mars Horizon, I talked about uh, Republicans caving in to Democratic pressure, and uh, good news. Uh, the the particular Republicans in Detroit who caved into bullying have retracted their cave into bullying and have rescinded certifying the election in Wayne County. After all, um, in an affidavit, GOP canvas board members claim they were bullied and send they uh, and say there are too many irregularities in Detroit vote to justify accepting election results. In an extraordinary turnabout that foreshadows possible legal action, the two GOP members of Wayne County's election board signed affidavits Wednesday night alleging they were bullied and misled into approving election results in Michigan's largest metropolis, metropolis and do not believe the votes should be certified until serious irregularities in Detroit votes are resolved. The statement by Wayne County Board of Canvassers Chairwoman Monica Palmer and fellow GOP member William C. Hartman rescinded their votes from a day earlier, threw into question anew whether Michigan's presidential vote currently favoring Democrat Joe Biden will be certified. They also signaled a possible legal confrontation ahead. I voted not to certify, and I st still believe this vote should not be certified, Hartman said in his affidavit. Until these questions are addressed, I remain opposed to certification of the Wayne County results. Added Palmer in her affidavit, I rescind my prior vote to certify Wayne County elections. Both GOP board members said their concerns included discrepancies in nearly three-quarters of Detroit precincts where ballots are supposed to be matched to qualified voters. The Wayne County election had serious process flaws which deserve investigation. I continue to ask for information to assure Wayne County voters that these elections were conducted fairly and accurately. Despite repeated questions, I have not received the re requisite information and believe an additional 10 days of canvas by the State Board of Canvassers will help provide the information necessary, Balmer explained. Their pronouncements came just 24 hours after a chaotic meeting in which the county's election board initially failed to certify the November 3rd election results during a 2-2 deadlock vote when both Palmer and Hartman voted against certification. But after hours of contentious public comment and criticism, including Democratic allegations of racism and threats against their safety, two GOP members struck a deal to certify the election in return for a promise of a thorough audit. Palmer and Hartman said Wednesday they learned the state officials had reneged and would not honor the audit leaving them re no recourse but to oppose certification until more investigation could be performed. It was not immediately unclear whether the Tuesday night compromise was binding or could be changed, or whether the two members' decision to announce their rescinded votes would stop Michigan state officials from proceeding to name electors. But both GOP board members said in affidavits they felt misled and unduly pressured to change their position the night earlier. The comments made accusations of racism and threatened me and members of my family, Palmer said in her affidavit. The board members' actions were immediately hailed by Phil Klein, head of the conservative-leaning Thomas More Society amidst Pro Amistad Project, which has been contesting election irregular irregularities in several key battleground states like Michigan. I'm pleased Mr. Hartman and Ms. Palmer reiterated their opposition to the certification of Wayne County results despite bullying and the threats in the face of broken promises by Michigan's Secretary of State. Klein told Justice the News, Mr. Hartman is properly demanding answers from Wayne County election officials. You can read their affidavits here if you like. Here's the PDF. Up here is the actual link to the article. And uh, the link is also in my comments section of my last video, posted by uh, one of my followers. So uh, go check that out. 
and I could probably put the link in the in the video. That would actually make sense. I'll put the link in the video. Um, anyway, this is good news. And I thought uh, compelled to update you with the good news since I had previously said something slightly different only a few hours earlier. Uh, so I, I want to make sure that whenever I can, I'm bringing you the most up-to-date and accurate information. Anyway, I'm James Johnson, a.k.a. Solver Blade. This is my content. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. And until the next time, all, peace.